Hi, I'm Chris Hicks, and today we will be interviewing various young people from the CUMC youth group to see how they have been the change. So, I'm Michael McClenney. And I'm Chris Hicks. And this little attractive kid right here is... Carl West. And he is in what grade? Sixth grade. What like mission did your grade go on, and how did that help change you? Well, we went to the Children's Clinic of Center of Plano, and we brought them items to use for the sick kids who can't afford them. And it changed me because I got to see what kind of things we are doing to help other people. And this is Mitchell Walker, grade 7. What, like, what mission did your grade go on, and how did that affect you personally? Well, our grade, grade 7, is doing Imagine No Malaria, where we are raising money to buy mosquito nets to protect people mainly in Africa from getting malaria transferred by mosquitoes. And it really personally changed me because it just um, was great to know that we were making a difference in a person's, certain person's life and that they could know that they were loved by someone. There we go. And we have two children here, one by the name of... Sam Kerner. Miriam Stokes. And they are in what grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. One not as enthusiastic. So, okay, um, I'm going to ask Sam Kerner, um, what mission did your grade go on and how did it personally affect you? Well, eighth grade last semester went on our service project to Buckner Orphanage and we got to help package their Christmas gifts for the kids. And it affected me because even though we didn't really get to see the people that we were helping, we still felt like we were really a part of uh, this great organization that got to help these kids. And so it made us feel happier and um, it helped us grow closer to God and want to do more of it. Very good. How has being in UMYF helped to change you? Well, being in UMIF has helped me realize that I need to change myself before I can help change other people. Solid answer. In other news, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Hicks. And I'm Landon Haran. And we're here with... Chandler Hunter. And Maudie Nier. And we're, we're in ninth, ninth grade. grade. So, Maudie, uh, how have you been the change this year? I've been the change this year because I've been looking in the Bible more and looking for what God has called me to do and applying those to other people through faith. So Chandler, how has your class been the change this year? Well, Landon, we volunteered at Minnie's Food Pantry and helped out there while we've also been donating money to the Seed Effect, which gives out microloans to needy people in Africa where they can pay them back and helps build more and more businesses within Africa. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hi, I'm Matthew Barnard, and I am a senior. I'm Kendall. I'm Mackenzie. And we're in 10th grade. All right, Kendall, your first question. How have you been the change? Um, I've been the change by trying to set an example for others, like as a role model. And I've also been trying to become closer with God so he can help me get closer with others that I normally wouldn't be. All righty, very good answer. And Mackenzie, this one is to you. How can you, our church be the change? Um, our church has been the change. When the new building was built, it was Le LEED certified, and it's all green, and um, we're conserving God's creations by being green. Alrighty, very good answer again. This is Chris Hicks here with... My name is Will Bratcher. And what grade are you in? I'm a junior. And how has God changed you? Uh, God has changed me by, uh, well, like a few months ago, uh, I think things in my life weren't going like the way I thought they should be. And then they kind of take, uh, took a turn for the better. I just saw it as a message from God that uh, he wanted to, me to be closer to him. Back to you. Hi, I'm Chris Hicks here with... Rachel Connolly. I'm Mackenzie Rhodes. And, and we're, we're juniors. juniors. So Rachel, uh, what mission trip did your class participate in uh, this semester and how did it change you and those you served? Um, our grade level went to three different nursing homes and we had a worship service that was Christmas themed. 
we had opening prayers, songs, and a sermon. And at each of those nursing homes, I could tell we definitely changed the people because they seemed to be so happy that they were seeing youth because they never do. And it changed me because it just helped me realize how much I take for granted in life and how fast life will pass by and how I need to be more appreciative of what I have. How is UMYF changing things around here? I think that our CMC UMYF is changing things um, because, I mean, you can, it's really open and people can just bring their friends and bring people, new people in. And you can really get a lot out of it because you talk about a lot of relatable things that we're going through, like just like different things, how we can be the change even though there's so much going on and lots of peer pressure and a lot of ways to like get away from God, but it kind of brings you together and realizes that there's other people there that just want to kind of do the same thing, do the right thing, and be the change, and yeah. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Hi, I'm Chris Hicks. Hi, this is Edwin, and we're here with... Uh, Jack Stokes, I'm a junior. How has God changed you? God's changed me in a way that he gives my life a purpose. Like, before I went on, especially APA, the first mission trip I went on freshman year, I didn't really know what I was living for. And it was a, um, kind of like a dark time in my life. I didn't know what I was doing. But then I found God that it's, it really just it changed the way I thought about almost everything. Like, now I read the Bible at least once a week. So that's better than it was before. <laughs> that's good to hear, Jack. Back to you. Thanks for joining us in this edition of Be the Change.